Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and uh, welcome back to this next video and this is the second video uh, in the series of videos on the differences between the ligand in the voltage gated ion channels in my previous video I've told you that the ion channels they are actually the transmembrane protein molecules that span across the cell membrane thereby allowing the passage of ion from one side of the membrane to the other side of the membrane and these ion channels do that by changing their conformation uh, and once they change their conformation they are either going to allow the movement of the ions or they are going to not allow the movement of the ions then i showed you the uh, structure of the ion channels that the transmembrane protein actually have got three domains one is only the extracellular domain the part of the transmembrane protein which is present like uh, outside the uh, cell or outside the membrane uh, the transmembrane domain the uh, interior part which is present inside the uh, cell membrane and then the intracellular domain which is present inside the cell and i've told you that in uh, some conformation they are close thereby not allowing the movement of ions and when they change their conformation they are actually going to allow the movement of the ions then i've told you that the lig ligand gated ion channels also known as the ionotropic receptors they're actually a group of the transmembrane uh, ion channel proteins which allow the movement of ions like the sodium potassium calcium and they are going to uh, pass through the membrane in response to the binding of a chemical messenger so the most important thing i've told you in the last video is that the ion channels which open after the binding of a ligand they are known as the ligand gated ion channels in this particular video i'm going to give you examples of the uh, ligand gated ion channels uh, for example, uh, the, uh, one of the most important examples when you talk about the ligand-gated ion channels is the uh, calcium ion channels or uh, the calcium ion channel which are present on the uh, endoplasmic reticulum. So what happens is that this is a whole pathway. I'm not going into the detail of this pathway. I have a detailed video on this particular uh, pathway which is known as the uh, protein kinase C pathway, the IP3 pathway. But in this particular video, I'm going to focus on this ligand gated calcium channel that how it opens up. So uh, when a ligand, it binds to the G protein coupled receptor, the G protein is going to get activated. The activated G protein is going to activate the phospholipase C enzyme. And what this phospholipase C enzyme do is it is going to break the PIP2 into two molecules. One is known as the DAG and the other one is known as the IP3. Now this IP3 is actually the ligand which is responsible for the opening of these calcium ion channels present on the endoplasmic reticulum. So as you can see in this particular image, when this ligand comes, it binds to the uh, calcium ion channel present on the endoplasmic reticulum the calcium ion channel is going to get open and when it opens up because the concentration of the calcium is high in the uh, endoplasmic reticulum because endoplasmic reticulum serves as a stool for the calcium inside the cell so once this uh, calcium ion channel open because of the binding of this ligand the calcium is going to move from the endoplasmic reticulum into the uh, cytoplasm thereby activating uh, various kind of the protein and hence a cellular response so this is one of the great example where you see that uh, the binding of a ligand is actually responsible for the opening of uh, a calcium channel in this particular case so once the uh, calcium it moves into the cytoplasm it is going to bind to a protein which is known as the calmodulin protein and the complex of the calcium and the uh, the complex of the calcium and the calmodulin protein is going to activate a variety of the proteins for example the chem kinase 2 and then this chem kinase 2 when you talk about the uh, uh, when you talk about the cells for example one of the important function of this chem kinase 2 is the uh, release of the neurotransmitter in the uh, neurons so this is one example where a ligand is responsible for the opening uh, of an ion channel calcium channel in this particular case Another important example of the uh, ligand gated ion channel is uh, when you talk about the uh, neurotransmitters. So this is, you can see, a, a whole, a, you can see a pathway where a presynaptic neuron, this one, the upper one is the presynaptic neuron, as you can see over here, the lower one is the postsynaptic neuron. So in this particular case, what happens is uh, when the uh, action potential uh, that reaches that moves from the uh, uh, that moves in the presynaptic membrane along the axon and once that reaches to the uh, end of the axon which are known as the axon terminals 
the neurotransmitter they are going to get released when this neurotransmitter when they get released because these neurotransmitter they are chemicals that means they are ligands they are going to bind to the receptors present on the postsynaptic neuron and these receptors they are actually the sodium ion channels so when this neurotransmitter when this ligand it binds to these receptors or these sodium ion channels the sodium ion channel they are going to get open and when they open the sodium is going to move from the exterior into the interior of the uh, postsynaptic neuron thereby allowing the uh, flow of the axon in the postsynaptic neuron so this is another example where a ligand in this particular case a neurotransmitter it binds to its receptor the receptor in this particular case is the sodium ion channels and when the ligand binds to the sodium ion channels they are going to get open so this is yet another important example of a ligand gated ion channels uh, in the next video i'll be focusing on the uh, voltage gated uh, uh, ion channels and i'll give you uh, important examples from this particular class of the ion channels so if you like the video please subscribe to my channel hit the like button and share it with your friends